How would you move 300 pounds of human waste? Well, I know what I would do. I would use one of these portable waste holding tanks with wheels. That would make your life easier and probably a little bit cleaner, man. Could you imagine 300 gallons of waste, like a five gallon bucket at a time or something like that? A 10-gallon tote? Oh, that can get nasty, right? Hey, everyone. I'm Eric Stark, the host of the Smart RVer podcast, presenting another Fast Tip Friday. And today we're going to talk about portable holding tanks. So why in the world would you need one of these? Well, there's various reasons. Maybe you're staying at a campground and they don't have sewer hookups at every space. Maybe they just have one in the campground that everybody uses, a communal one, so your holding tank is filled and you need to pull your RV over to it, dump it, pull your RV back, set up. You know, it might be one of them situations. So to avoid having to move your RV and dump it, you get one of these and you can wheel it over to the dump station after you fill it up from your RV's holding tank and then you can dump this rather than moving the whole RV. So it saves a whole lot of work, a whole lot of hassle. It's just the idea of these things carrying waste and the things that can go wrong, you know. But that's what you got to do. And if you're careful, it's not a big deal. It's not going to turn into this messy, nasty thing. And besides that, these things can be hosed off and cleaned up real, real nice, real easy. So that's one reason why you'd need one. Now, maybe you're camping someplace where there's just no sewer hookups, period. There's no dump station at all. And when you get home, you have to empty your, your tank into here, then take it to a dump station. And maybe there's a reason why you have to do that. The dump station is not on your way home. You don't want to drive the RV another 10 miles, whatever it is to do it after your camping trip. So you just soon go home, empty your holding tank into here and take this to a dump station. Maybe you're having a house built. And until that house is built, you don't have a hookup that's convenient or at all. And you have to put your waste in here and then take it to a dump station. You just might find yourself in a situation where you need one of these. Whatever the reason is, these serve a great purpose to empty the waste in the holding tank of your RV and put it in here. And then you take this someplace to a dump station and you empty it. Now, there's different names for these. There's different brands too, which we're going to get into that in a moment. But the names, you know, common names are portable holding tanks, tote tanks, waste tanks. Portable dump stations, portable septic tanks, septic tanks, septic tank on wheels, waste tanks on wheels. You know, so it's the name, you know, everybody calls it something different, but a portable holding tank, tote tanks, portable waste tanks, those are probably the more common ones. And there's about four common brands. So that's important. We're going to narrow it down to four because there's probably some other brands out there, but we're going to stick with the four. Barker Manufacturing, and they call theirs Totalongs. Now, Barker has been making theirs forever. In fact, they were the first ones on the scene with portable waste tanks. And they make a nice one. Super heavy-duty, industrial strength, great tank, great product. In fact, Barker's a great company. Everything they make is good. Now, Thetford makes the Titan Totes. And Thetford makes good products as well. So theirs are called Titan Totes. And then Camco makes the Rhino Tanks, which just happens to be a Camco one. It has the trademark orange handle on it. Sewer hose with the orange fittings kind of stands out. So this is the Rhino, and this one is just what I'm using. This is what we sell in our store. This just makes it easier. I could buy one of each, but I hate doing that. I'm sticking with what I got. So it's just the concept of it. doesn't necessarily mean anything about the brand at this point. Then there's another brand that's made by a distributor in the RV industry, and it's called a Toten Store. And that one's at the bottom of the list, and that's where it is, the bottom of the list. Okay, now, there's going to be links to the four brands in the description of this video. And also, please like and subscribe if you like the video when you're all done. You don't have to do it now. Wait until you're done. All right, so this is just a reference tank, the Camco Rhino Tank. Now, all four brands that I mentioned are good. They all have their place in the market. Now, if you're going to, if you're seriously looking for one, buy it from your local RV store. If you buy it online, make sure you buy one of these brands, one of these good brands. Don't buy anything but the no brand name 
products that are out there, they're garbage. These online marketplaces are selling low quality products all based on price. It's price driven only. Some of these companies don't really even exist. They're on a selling platform, but there's no company. Stuff just ships out of a warehouse, no customer service. Stick with a brand that you can get support for if you have any problems. And it's just going to last longer and be worth the investment. Now, what sets these tanks apart? Because each brand makes their line of tanks, and they all have different features. You know, they're all competing with each, with each other, so they make them a little bit different. They don't make them identical. And they all try to improve on it. So what sets them all apart? How would you buy one of these? Well, it entirely depends on the options that you really want, the options that you need. But first off, they come with a two-wheel model, just like this one. It's got two wheels there, or a four-wheel one. So you have the two wheels in the rear, and then they have two wheels in the front down here that have a, a bar on them that you steer it with, kind of like a wagon. You know, when you're a little kid, you had a wagon. Very similar to that. And also that bar is used for towing these as well. Now, I'm going to explain that a little more in depth in just a moment. So the four-wheel option is steerable. So if you're pulling it on the ground, you can get it in tighter places, and you can just steer it by standing up. You don't have to lift it up to carry it and steer it, which, depending on your age and strength, might not be a big deal. But the other way might be a better option, again, depending on your age and strength. So the either way, four-wheel drive, two-wheel drive, they can be towed behind your vehicle. Now, let me explain that. The ones with handles, like this one here, in fact, all of them other than the four-wheel drive one, they come with a bar like this, a handle, if you will. So this is your towing adapter. So it's pretty easy to use. So it just goes under the handle, over the top, and holds it up, and there you go. The has a ring on the end right here that goes around the ball for towing your trailer. Hooks right on. There you go. Now, towing these is not something you're going to do at 40 miles an hour and going down the highway. Towing these is designed for in campgrounds, going two miles an hour, five miles an hour, going from your RV to the dump station. This is not a trailer. So you have to treat it with caution. Like if the, RV, if the campground has speed bumps, you don't want to hit a speed bump at 10 miles an hour towing this, probably not even at two miles an hour. You want to crawl over it. You do not want this thing coming off, flipping over, breaking, and crap going everywhere, right? No one wants that. That's a mess. They're going to run you out of the park, and then they're going to tar and feather you. So you have to be careful. Towing is not for the highway. It's in RV parks, and you still have to be cautious. Now, the smaller ones, like 10 gallons, 12 gallons, 8 gallons, they don't have wheels on them. you got to carry them. So keep that in mind if you buy a smaller one. You're not going to be able to tow it. Now, the Barker brand, they some of their models, not all of them, some of them have a, I guess the four-wheel drive ones, the four-wheel ones, have a waste valve on the side like right here. And you hook your sewer hose up to it, you pull the handle, and it drains into the sewer or the dump station. Now, the other ones, for the most part, all have a sewer hose that you would hook up here. And you would drain it using this. And you lift it up, and there's your hose, and it goes into the ground. Oops, I didn't get that on all the way. But you get the point. So a different style of emptying it. So that valve on the side can be kind of nice. But if you don't care about that and you want to just empty it, then you go this way. And that's common on all of them. So Barker's the only one that has that valve on the side. Now, Thetford has a unique situation on theirs. They have their sewer hose built in, and it dumps a little bit different, but you still have to lift it. So it's similar to this, just a little fancier. So that onboard valve makes dumping easier. Now, another cool thing is wheel bearings like this camco one the rhino has wheel bearings in it rather than just a plastic wheel sitting right on a steel axle it has a bearing in there so it's going to roll nicer it's not going to hang up and bind you know if you use it a lot 
the wheel's not going to wear out on that axle, especially if you've always got it full and you, like I said, use it a lot that wheel will wear out eventually where this won't happen. At worst case, the bearing goes bad and you can get new bearings. Not a problem. So that that's kind of cool. And then these are oversized wheels. The other ones have smaller wheels. Now, Barker does have pneumatic tires on theirs where you fill them up with air and they are a little bit bigger, not bigger than this, bigger than the other ones, which is kind of nice as well. But I like this oversized one. It's going to roll better, turn easier, just a different feel to it. But that's my opinion. Yeah, in my opinion is what matters, right? Yeah, around my house it does. Maybe not here. Okay, anyways. Back to business. So the axle bearings, pneumatic tires, oversized tires, all great options. So it depends on what you want. Now, Thetford has one cool thing, and you're probably thinking about this. How do I know when this puppy is filled? Because it can get pretty ugly. You pull the drain valve on your RV and all that stuff's going in there, that brown ooze pumping through there, going through the sewer hose, and, oh, you can't see it. Oh, man, this could get tricky, right? Well, Thetford, on their Titan tank, has this automatic shutoff, and that's pretty sweet. So that stops it. But you still have to be aware of what's happening here. If that shutoff didn't work, and all of a sudden, you know, you got waste from here up to there, and you got to disconnect something, you're going to have all that waste coming out. Now, the other thing is Camco makes a, a gauge, which I don't have one here, but it just drops right into here. In fact, it'll work on all the tote tanks that have garden hose threads on the top, which they all do it's for flushing it, things like that. This one has two different ones. So a gauge would go on the top, and it tells you when you're three gallons from being full. Now, three gallons is going to go quick when it's coming out of a holding tank, right? You know that, how quick a holding tank can empty. So you do want to be cautious and pay attention to that and maybe push in that valve and slow down the flow. Another thing I'd recommend is definitely using the shorter sewer hose that comes with these tanks to hook up to your RV. Don't go longer. You don't want a 10-gallon, a hose that holds 10 gallons of liquid, right? When the gauge tells you you're at three, but you got 10 gallons in your hose. In fact, I would see how, what the capacity of my hose is. And even on the RV, from where that valve is how much plumbing there is and try to estimate the capacity total capacity from the valve to here so you don't overflow if it's you know you might have two gallons in there so your three gallon gauge is telling you hey you got three gallons left that's not a lot of room to play with so you're going to want to shut it off slow it down and control that and you're better off having this thing a little empty rather than a little full too full can be an issue and that's, you know, word of caution. If you get to that point, you need to have a five-gallon bucket on hand. So when you have to shut off that valve, if you have went too much, you weren't paying attention, you're going to have to be able to shut that valve off, and you're going to have to very quickly disconnect this hose and have a bucket for your RV to dump into and this to dump into. It could get ugly. So you got to be cautious. And I'm giving you the warning on there. I'm not trying to hide anything from you. You guys did figure that out, but hey, a little warning makes it a little bit easier, you know, things to avoid. Got the story ain't going to tell you that. Ah, oh, these things work great. Just don't worry about it, you know. No big deal, but I'm telling you the truth here. Okay, so Thetford has that automatic shutoff. The rest of them don't, but you can get a gauge for it. It goes right in the top, makes it easy. In fact, Barker's four-wheel ones, I think, have a gauge on them as well. It comes with it. So you do need to pay attention to these things when you're using them. You, caution is definitely how you want to think. Be cautious. And also, what's cool about the Rhino one is it has this hook on it. To hook onto your ladder when it's empty. Not full. Empty. Let's say you destroy your ladder if it was full. You know, it may be hang on there, but going down the road, it'd just break it apart. You know, it'd be like having a human on there hanging on the back, going down the road. It'd just fall apart. And the Titan tote tank has one on it as well. So that's made by Thetford. Has has a hook similar to this on it for hanging onto a ladder. The tote alongs don't. The Barker ones don't. So that's kind of a disappointment. So you have to consider those options, you know. You can make it work on a ladder. It's just a little bit harder to do without that hook built in. So all of the tote tanks generally come with the components you need to empty them, like this short sewer hose to hook up to your RV. The Camco one comes with different fittings.
to go into the ground as well. You got a 90 degree here that the sewer hose could hook up to. Oop, wrong way. Then you got the fitting for the ground. So you have some options here. And this is nice stuff. Camco doesn't cut any corners on this. These are nice hoses, built-in fittings, quality stuff. It has a hose for flushing it. We're like the totalongs. We come with this cheesy little blue hose, which, you know, these are just garbage. A fitting that you have to clamp on after you get it on, which you get, you're going to spend 10 minutes trying to stretch out this sewer hose to get it on there. If you bought a cheaper one of these, I wouldn't even use this junk. I would throw it away, and I would just go to the store and buy one of these a little two-foot extension. You can get them in Volterra, Camco, different qualities. Yeah, this is just garbage. And this is what Barker comes with one of these too, but it's five feet long. This is just bottom of the barrel junk. You don't want that. Even the hose comes in a bag. It's all kinked right in the bag, right out of the box. Yeah, that's what I think of that. Garbage. More junk, right? We don't need that. Get it out of here. We want the good stuff. Yeah. All right. So now getting to the end of this video. Finally, right? This guy never shuts up. Which one would I buy? If I was standing in an RV store and they had all four of them there, which one would I buy? Well, my choice would get narrowed down to the Camco Rhino and one of the Barker tote tanks. Now, which one would it be? I would go with the Camco Rhino. I think overall it's a very good product. It has a couple features that I like a little bit more than the Barker one. The Barker has built-in handles, and which is great, but I just like the Rhino one. I like the looks of it. I do like the bright orange. I like things that stand out a little bit, kind of cool. And like these handles, but underneath this handle, this screw that holds it on does not go into plastic. There's a steel plate that's molded into it. Anywhere there's a handle or anything like that, this hook, it's reinforced with steel plates, which makes it real nice, and they don't leak. So I would go with the Cam Camco Rhino 1. It's got the built-in bracket to hang it on the ladder. It's just my choice. Now, that's my choice. Your choice might be different. You have to look at the options. What do you need? How much money do you want to spend? And go in that direction. You know, really, what are your needs? You don't always need to buy the best. I put my hands down here like this is the best. You don't need to buy the best. Just buy what works for you. All right, so now we've come to the end of this video. Please like and subscribe if you appreciate it and share it with others. And check the comment section below for any links we have to other websites. And thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next video.